私は好きでしたけれど私たちを成仏させようとしてくれて。結局、成仏はできたのかなんでお前、まだいるんだよいいえ、できてませんあなたたちから言葉を奪った、抜き取られた舌は返したしあなたたちにひどいことをした、犯人には懺悔させたけどやっぱり許せないわたしたちの成仏に許す許さないというそれぞれの意思は関係ないんです懺悔とは犯人と被害者との間に存在してそれ単体でわたしたち被害者の霊を動かすものです私たちが天神小学校を異空間に閉じ込めている霊場の断片だから私たちを動かすという方法は正しいと思いますだけど足りていないんですあいつの文化人形が喋った言葉では足りないってことあれはち、うん、でなんだよなんだって無関係の人間を何人も何人も閉じ込めてるんだ俺たちをあそこに呼び寄せたのはお前ら子供の幽霊たちだろそれは違いますだと私たちは異空間をつなぎ止める歯車に過ぎなくてお前鈴本を殺したじゃねえかよ待ってえもう少し聞こう。
無事に遅れてよかったですなんで急に俺たちを気遣うような言い方すんだよ私のお姉ちゃんに聞いたことがある強い未練を残したまま暴力的に命を搾取された玲子は普通の人で言うところの錯乱に近い状態でとどまってしまうっていろんな感情や思いがごちゃ混ぜになってしまっているから本来の優しい心と聖者への妬みや敵意の気持ちとをコントロールできずに感情がくるくる変わるってお前の姉さんって霊能師のうんちょっと違うけどどっちもこいつの本音ってわけか。だったらお願い他の生きてるみんなも持田君や先生たちも連れてきてあげて<笑>ねえできるんでしょもうそれは無理だと思います。どうしてあの空間はたくさんの無関係な命を食べ過ぎましたあそこで死んだ人たちの恨みの念がもう満員だから行き場をなくした悲しい思いたちの影響で全ての霊が。わずかに残った理性を失い始めていますわたしだって生きている人をただ無差別に襲うだけの怨霊になってしまいます<笑>あなたも味方してくれなくなるのね。だったらなおさら急がなきゃあしけっぱだけあります。どどうするんだよお兄さんも知っている方法です。私たち、天神小学校の児童四名誘拐殺害事件被害者の。レイをみんなを成仏させてくれれば歯車を失った異空間に大きな歪みが生まれますそうすればもしかしたらあそこへまた戻るのかよそれにせっかく残りあと一人だと思ってたのにそんなつもりのお前らさんにも成仏してなかったしよどうしてさっき口ごもったの成仏できなかった理由それは思い出したくないんですでもどうしても知りたいのなら教えます。あの。A spirit generally took hold of human's hand and an s a t h e two beings seem to o m e r g e again into a single mind. <笑>何<笑>しろぎい、痛い
どうなったの私気絶したはずなのに意識がある真っ暗だし体が動かないなんか疲れた時になる金縛りみたい。犯行現場で唯一生き残った赤いワンピースの女児篠崎幸子。幸子の家族は事件後、怯えるように他県へ移っていったとされている。驚いたことに、この篠崎家についての記述は、この事柄以外。当時の書類や文献のどこを見ても何を見ても見当たらない惨劇の舞台となった学校や現役校長の嫡男による凄惨な犯行そのスキャンダラスな背景の取材に目がくらみ、この小さな生存者の聴取がおろそかになったのではと予想したがそうではなかった誰も幸子のその後をたどることができなかったのだ体は金縛りにあったみたいに動かせないけど Wait I don't think it's that. I think what's happening is, um, since it's almost like the show is emerged to her and let it go, what she's, what's happening is that she's basically reliving that moment. She's reliving up to that moment. So, I guess is that she's probably going to feel exactly what happens. You can see the Also, you can see the girl in the red dress, so OA kind of tells me that's how it happens, because she's a ghost right now. And you got the other girl and the boy, which both are dead. あの The person that has trouble speaking. Me, 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 me. She's gonna lose her eye. Well, not really lose the eye, I don't think, but she's gonna feel her eye being lost.
手足も縛られてるから目隠しを取ることもできない。こうしていると恐怖は余計に倍増する耳がどんどん敏感になる<笑>周りの子たちのおえつの声が。狭い部屋に反響して私も恐怖で頭が割れそうになるも叫んだけど男は私から離れていったににんばんじゅんって何すさまじい音波のような叫び声。端っこにいた男の子だ。それが永遠と続く。今まさに殺されてるんだ。何十分経っただろうか何度も何度も繰り返し絞り出された男の子の叫び声はとうとう聞こえなくなった。入れずに女の子の悲鳴が上がるこれももはや音だった。I know because she died almost instantly. Okay, just die already, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't seem, maybe it's just a, so she's gotten so used to the death away that now she's just like, come on, just die. <laughs> She's going for you next. 
I'm assuming you're gonna feel all that pain, but you're not actually gonna die. Uh, cause she's next in line. あ、私は何を天神男の者にしては規制により一人は死亡。私の目の前にさらされた光景は想像を絶していた。血まみれの大きなハサミを手に私を見下ろしていたのは、さっきの大男ではなく捕らえられていた子供たちの一人。帰り地で顔が真っ赤に染まった。what? I why when they said that last sentence when it wasn't the man, I thought a fool and it was. That she, it did say she lived, right? So and she was trying to survive. So because she wasn't subjected to that kind of torture. の<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> あの、<笑> 
してあなたが<笑>いやいやいやあああ人はハサミで眼球を何度も刺された上にスープのように潰れた目玉をえぐり出され苦しみ抜いた末に出血死に至るその後なぜか犯人は3人の遺体から舌をハサミで切断している執筆している私も胸の悪くなるまさに悪魔の所業である児童3人が惨殺される中唯一生き残った少女幸子保護された後泣きじゃくる彼女の証言から追及が進み義和は送検されたサチコ、カーステッツ、made him do it. He didn't want to, but he had no choice, maybe? And then, all those three kids died. So, and since they were dead, she didn't lie about who, who the killer was, made him try to make her hopefully. So, no one knew, knows that she caused it. And he just went to jail since he couldn't speak, which is bad since he couldn't speak, really. He couldn't deny the allegations against him. So he eventually just got charged. And yeah, so it was all. She's a smart girl. That, that, that's all clever. She's a smart girl. He said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to 自宅の所在も家族構成も一切の記録が残っていないというよりはっきり言えば存在していた痕跡が全くないのだここからは仮説になる果たしてこれは本当に義和の犯行なのか児童たちを殺害したのは本当に義和なのか後期の義和は言葉による他人とのコンタクトは不自由だったとはいえ基本的にはおとなしく他人に危害を加えるような性質ではなかった。これは彼を取り巻いていた親戚や付近住民の証言も聞くことができたので確実だ突然このような強行に走る道理がないのである一方それまで健康であった義和の父親柳堀校長が突然奇怪な言動や行動を取り始めたのもこの時期だ何かに取りつかれたように屋敷の壁一面に意味不明の漢字の羅列を書き殴ったり何者かに怯えるように部屋の隅にこもり大声でわめいたり暴れたりこちらも相当な事態になっていた<音声>そこに私は人知を超えた力の動き巨大なる呪詛の側面を見ている
開港当初より閉鎖されていた天神小学校の地下室に関する何か大きな呪いの存在この連続児童誘拐殺害事件より、さらに遡ること20年。おぼろげながら、真相を知る手がかりを、私は見つけたように思える。廃校になった後、取り壊されて別の学校が建っている現在では、失われた天神小学校の地下室を調べることは不可能だが、私の助手が興味深い方法を見つけてきてくれた。<咳>不可能が可能となるかもしれない。これより、その準備に出かける。詳しくは、次回の連載にてお伝えしたいと思う。楽しみにお待ちいただきたい。Dear Kimbuki, Chapter Three, Summer Twenty Two. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to check SSX real quick. Uh, well, X ray. It's in chapter two. Check this room. Should we go back to that? I'm going to say this. I didn't like chapter four because of how cryptic it was. I think because of how it portrays itself, that without a guide, it's really hard to figure out where to go because the game doesn't really tell you where to go in a lot of instances. It tells you a couple of things where to go, but for the most part, it doesn't really tell you everything. So a lot of times, you have to just guess or look up a guide. That being said, the end in the chapter four was by far the best. I love, love the ending to Chapter Four. It was such a good ending. It was so good. I love, love the end of the Chapter Four. It does set up so much, a lot of loose string, a lot of loose ties, or whatever loose strings were tied together in a knot, and it gave you and gave you some cool things that makes you look forward to the next chapter. Like Sachiko being the one that caused the murders, I never thought of that. I knew she lived. I thought maybe she got away somehow. I didn't think she could cause it. She was a ghost, so I thought maybe she died somehow. Maybe she died after the events. Maybe the killer came back and killed her eventually. So I don't know. That's why I kept thinking. I did not think that was it was her though. I never thought that. And the thing was is that maybe I was like maybe she was forced to do it. Maybe she, but. No, from the look on her face, she enjoyed it. She wanted to, and all the time together, that sh she's not a stupid girl. She is fucking smart. She knows exactly what she's doing, and she planned it so accordingly. The way, how can somebody defend themselves against allegations if um they can't speak? And she said, "Let it go." She's seven. People's not gonna think she's gonna cause it. People don't think about that, you know. And considering that she cried and made a tearful like show, basically making it seem like that she was innocent, the guy got put away and she got left home free. And she's not terrified or sad about it at all. She faked it, and that that was the coolest thing. It just worked so well, so good, such a good end in chapter four. I loved it. It was a very long ending, but it kept me captivated ever since we started with Ayumi basically being put in the shoes, and it was terrifying. Honestly, it made me tear up, you know. And I'm pretty sure if I talked during the dialogue, you probably would hear my voice crack a little bit because I was getting kind of upset, especially when you hear the screams. Oh my god, they were like generally terrified screams. 
that hit me it's like, like as I was reading and as I was like going through this and seeing what was happening to you, my body kind of ached up a little bit because I was like trying to imagine like the pain like I could never imagine how much pain that would be like but like I could almost feel like stings in my chest like I'm like my god that has the hood you know like it was just so well done, okay? I can't explain how good that chapter was at the end of it. Like I said, I, every other part of the chapter was terrible, okay? I, I like seeing what each character was doing and all that, but, like, I think because of how the chapter was, it just makes you do a lot of guessing, and you have to just kind of know where to go. Um, but the ending, though, was worth it, though. Honestly, the end was about as, the end of that chapter was about as long as the gameplay for that chapter almost. It was like half the time, I think. It was like two hours over here, so I I don't know how. So I guess maybe that's not accurate, but it's about one third of the way. It was like a four, thirty minute like section. So, but it was nice going back between like what you mean was experiencing. It was a touchy experience. Because since they were reading what was happening and and what was going on with the kids. You know, do this for points, and then you see a you a Yumi, like actually experiencing that. I think just putting that, like showing, them reading it, what happened, and showing Yumi experiencing what happens, was just so well executed and so well done. It captivated me so much, and I was just enamored about how good. That all felt, or and how good that all tied together, and how things were cut in and out, the show short things, and just the voice acting, and it was just good. I can, so I still got chapter five to go to. I can see how people are liking this. This is my first time going to Coach Party originally, and I'm not gonna lie, like it's not a bad game. And ch I don't know how chapter 5 is. Chapter 5 is going to be longer. I know it's going to be longer based off name tags. Name tags can't mean everything. But look at all these name tags. So I'm going to presume it's going to be like 4 hours long. So we might be seeing chapter 5 for like 6 more episodes. So we're already in like. I think the episode 20 park. Um, I'm going to guess. Because right now. I don't know where we're at, but at the time I'm recording this, episode 16 hasn't even came out. So we're probably in about, yeah, we're probably in about the episode 20, 21 mark. So by the time we do chapter 5, we'll probably be almost episode 30. And then we got to do all the extras, depending on how long those are. I'll have to see about the extras, because I, I think you have to unlock them to certain criteria. And I'll check that before I finish chapter 5. But if I had, but if... It requires too much work to get the extras. I'm not going to worry about it, but... Um... I would like to see, uh... Um... I'll just go... This shouldn't take too long. This is by far the longest. But the this is pretty short. And then this is like nothing. So, we will get to experience all these. These might be an extra thing added. But I will check these. I will look. I don't know exactly what these are. Maybe these show some characters that died and what led up to their deaths. Or this one, or they might show how they got to certain areas and what their motivations were. Give more context. So, um... I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm doing kind of an outro, but I will definitely see you guys in the next video, and we will do chapter five, and then which I'm really excited for. Really excited to go to chapter five. Um, it's November, so this is gonna go to November. I'm gonna do a couple more horror games, and then we're gonna be back on more revision novel territory, more anime stuff. You know, kind of get away from the horror a little bit, and then we won't worry about the horror for like months. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, though, and then we'll continue Chapter 5 and see what's going. So, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.